All right, guys, so the video you're about to watch is was gonna be two product reviews. It is two product reviews uh, put together in one. Um, so we got two different types of lights here. Was gonna use them for two different types of installs, but ended up coming up with something clever and it turned out super good. So hope you enjoy uh, the little video. There is two uh, unboxings in this video of two different products. Thought I would just kind of combine them together and uh, make it all that much cool because we use both products on the same piece of equipment. So turned out all that good. So check it out. Hope you enjoy. This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm hot, sweaty, it's been a long day, but it's not long enough to where you could use some cool LED lights. Now these are, all right. So here what we have are two six inch, oh, they're in one bag. Very small, but I think these are gonna work perfect on our grasshopper, or at least I'm hoping. So yeah, very excited. We're gonna take these down. It even comes with a, uh, a pattern. So if you have to drill a hole, there's your pattern. It comes with screws, Allen head mounts. These are kind of cool looking. Show them to you here. Here they do have a little protection on them. This is spot flood combo. They're plastic. They're not that metal stuff. They just have a red and a white, red and a black wire coming out of them. Just like so. But I'm hoping these fit on the grasshopper. These will be some serious cool light for headlights because they'll fit flush mount where the old ones were and mount, uh, Mount where the, uh, the old ones were. We may have to cut an edge off or drill or he drill some holes or something, but we'll see. Let's go see if these Have fit. you ever needed some extra auxiliary lighting for your truck, ATV, lawnmower, UTV, anything like that? Well, I'm with this. This is a six inch LED mini light bar. Uh, it's a V30. It's the Nano VO, Nano VO, NemVO, NemVO. I think that's how you say it, NemVO. So premium automotive lighting leader. These are spot flood combos. They are, I believe, 50 watts. So these are going to be outrageously bright. Box opens up like this. You get a book. You get two lights and a Styrofoam deal, very thin lights. I'll tell you what, we're gonna use these. And of course you get the mounting hardware. Which consists of some nuts, bolts, an Allen wrench, some Allen screws, some washers, some other nuts, uh, really heavy duty bracket here, and the light. So I wanna to try to see if I can figure out how to put one of these lights on. I think I've already done figured it out. That's a good question. Well, you wanna know something? <clears throat> so these nuts are for these to hold them to something they didn't actually send the right bolts to hold this i don't think because this isn't threaded yeah you're supposed to put a nut in there on the inside i might have i think i have some spare nuts i can probably get to fit down in there <clears throat> So you drop your nuts down in the hole there, and then you just thread this into it, this Allen head. But they didn't send the nuts for it, or it didn't come in the box. So let's go see if we can find, because I've always got spare nuts, spare parts. Let's go see what we can find. All right. So as previously in the beginning of the video, you saw that both these lights were supposed to be used separately. But after looking at one and kind of... Uh, just coming out with the reality of these. Yeah, I have the grasshopper here in front of me, but uh, uh, The flush mount ones I was just going to use for the grasshopper and the other ones I was going to use for the back of the, the, the big truck uh, Kind of seemed fit to use them for both of them for the grasshopper. So this is what we got And I already did the install but I'm gonna kind of go through here and tell you what I done how I made LEDs work on a a uh, 722D grasshopper. 
So what I did was, of course it comes with halogen lights already down here where we have these LEDs. And halogens really don't work. And of course around here in central Illinois, we start getting, we're actually getting dark earlier now. It's only about uh, 7.30 at night and it's getting dark. Although it is overcast, as you can see over there, it's clearing, but um, generally during the summer, we don't get dark until probably 8, 30, 9 o'clock before it's completely pitch black. So by the end of August, we'll lose an hour. It'll probably be starting to get dark by, you know, 7 o'clock. Um, by the end of September, it'll be probably 6-ish when it gets dark. And then October, uh, 5, 30, 6 o'clock. And then, of course, we change time the first weekend in November. So, while we do leaf cleanups with this machine and we mow, uh, I have a feeling this fall is going to be very wet. As you can see, we're, we're still kind of in a drought. And um, mowing slow right so, now. So, what I did was, and I still haven't got everything put back together. Uh, I got the side shield off here. Uh, was tidying up some wires too because they were loose and hanging down uh, this was loose here and had to tighten it up but so we used the flush mounts the six inch flush mounts which i will say by themselves they're not super bright for a lawnmower yeah they'd probably be okay i wouldn't put these on your truck these things are not super bright uh, there's one on each side i just used self-tapping screws it did come with screws and nuts but i didn't want to have to run wrenches and all that stuff was like self tappers little self tappers will hold them uh, there's already some holes for clips so i was like i'll just use those and it works so and then the top ones there was already a hole up here from where i had some other lights mounted so i just drilled or bolted those in drilled another small hole ran a grommet yep so no chafing there is a grommet right there we stuck it in there and then we run everything up under there, you can see that screw holding the cables away from the tires. So I can turn my flashlight on here. Maybe you can see the cable there. So there is a green and a black cable on this grasshopper. So if you guys have these and you're wanting to know, oh, green's probably hot and uh, black is negative, neutral, uh, ground. No, your black is your hot, your green is your ground. So <clears throat> we were able to put these on there. It's like a neighbor alley cats came over and uh just basically screwed them in i wired this light to this light and then wired the power cable from the switch to this light i did get a different switch uh, it is amperaged a little bit higher uh, so it will the other switch was actually shortened out and causing a fuse to blow anyway so we went ahead and changed that out to a new waterproof uh switch a little marine switch uh, links to all this stuff will be in the description guys like I said I was gonna use this uh, stuff on separate deals but I decided to do um, it all on one deal so I was like well it just make for one video but it, it's gonna be a good video because anybody with LED lights you know it looks pretty good so new switch it obviously goes on with the key so these will not turn on if the key is not on now I'm gonna go ahead I think these should turn on. I'm going to move these handles in because the, the handle blocks. Of course, when you're mowing, you're not going to have those handles out. So just so that you can see where well, that one handle is. One of them is a little bent than the other one, but that's okay. It's a used machine. But so that we can see when we're collecting grass and mowing and all that, these work perfect. Honestly, wish I would have maybe got one to put back here on the back just so I could have a little backlight, maybe mount mount something back here on the side you know kind of facing back here on the side which i still can do and i could probably wire it you know up into the uh the deal so it would come on too but it would allow me to uh have a light here mounted uh where the collector goes which is on that pedestal right there but it all works great i'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on uh like i said we gave you guys good close-ups of these the these top ones are super bright but not like bright enough to where I wanted them as reverse lights on my truck. This is why uh, we got these. And uh, I thought, well, it'll be cool for reverse lights on the truck so I can have work lights. But um, 
they ain't super these ain't that bright i thought about maybe even putting them in the, the big truck but the ones even i have on the dakota that are flush mounts are not super bright flush mounts just don't seem to be super bright now if they were bright like the top ones probably would have just left those and not done anything else so we've, we've done a cool upgrade here so i'm gonna go ahead turn the key and watch the magic happen there you go again it's not super dark out but it's also not you know i wanted to kind of give you a little daytime look here and there's the kitty we got lots of alley cats around here hi kitty <laughs> they look good and they're putting off actually quite a bit of light they're both spot flood combos and i'm actually kind of excited to see how these look tonight i'm gonna leave this sit out here tonight until it gets dark and then we're gonna see how bright these look because i'm excited to uh to see how much light this puts out let's go ahead with the power of the internet let's make it nighttime all right she is nighttime and boy do these things look really good look how much light that's putting out to hit the neighbor's house super bright i mean absolutely killer lights the bottom one's not so good the top one's really good uh, but if you put the two together on a grasshopper they work really good i mean look at that lighting it up like it's daylight out here i wouldn't be scared to mow out here at night it's nice and cool if you got to work when it's hot I mean, look at that pitch black out here no light besides the pole light way over there but heck yeah i just need one behind me now so i can see behind me when i'm like dumping stuff at night or something it needs to be on a separate switch so i can turn it off and on i guess but yeah these are cool i like them they look super good just can't wait to get the ones on the hustler done now so yeah super awesome lights at an affordable price if you want some super awesome light another thing yeah say you're something's up on the roof see i can throw the beam up there throw it way up in the sky there but i mean if you take these and point these up this here is what those down there put put off a little bit of light but these put off a lot more so together they do a really good job I like them. All right, let's uh, put this mower Look in, guys. There they are. They look phenomenal. They work phenomenal. They're great mower lights, a great addition. Now, if you just don't want to add those and you want to add those, you don't need a whole lot of light. You just need to be able to see, you know, you're not mowing at night, but in case you're driving around somewhere, those would be perfect. I'm not saying these bottom ones are bad, but if you really want some light, get the bottom ones and the top ones for your grasshopper. They looked phenomenal. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Links in the description. Check them out. You won't be, well, you might be upset if you buy the bottom ones and expect them to be super bright. But they're a little bright, but they're not super bright. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. A lot more stuff coming. More stuff coming from the awesome truck over here. So stay tuned. See you in the next one.